Hey guys, just going to show you how to mould some HDPE high density polyethylene and some slingshots here. Uh, it takes you a couple of stages, okay? Firstly, you need to get your high density polyethylene. Now, this is the stuff here. This here I've got milk cartons for each bottle. What you need to look for on the bottom, don't know if you can see clearly here though, there's your little for little triangle. Let's see if we can get on on this. It's a triangle, it says HDPE2. So if you need some of that, chop it up into little bits and I'll show you what to do with it next. I've got the oven on, uh, sitting at 190 degrees centigrade. This is a fan assisted oven, you could probably take it down to about 180 with that. Uh, these are two foil trays I've got on a baking tray. This is some stuff I've already prepared. This is leftover offcuts from things I've previously done and it's been in here for probably about half three quarters of an hour. As this melts down I'm just going to keep adding extra to it uh, and then fairly soon I'll get to the stage of moulding it. Right guys this is the last of the stuff that I had in the basin. So it's now going to get put into the oven and just left until it melts. Right guys, we're still looking at just getting ready to do a pour. Uh, this is a couple of frames I made up here, just to do some scrap wood I had, a bit of 9 mil ply. So I've got two here. This one's going to give us about 29 centimetres by about 16. This one, probably about 20, just under 28 by about 15, just for whatever I've done. Steps, hmm, probably looking at it about 15 mil on that one and about 18 mil on that. Need enough. Uh, only other things we need a good pair of stubby gloves. I've got riggers here. As you see, you've got some plastic on them from before because this stuff's pretty hot. Uh, two bits of ply for the top just to cover. Put a bit of protection on the island here in the kitchen just to keep somebody else happy and some clamps as well. So just wait on the plastic melting and then I'll show you the next step. Hey guys, we did the last bit now. Got the stuff in the oven. Everything's just laid out ready to go. Now I can only find four clamps at the moment. I don't know what's happened to the other ones. They're in the shed somewhere and I'm sure we've all got one of those sheds. I swear a gorilla comes in there when I'm not in there and moves in and around. So I've got four. I'm going to have to do, try and do two together. I've got two trays, as you saw, in the oven. So I'm going to try and do the two together. I need to work really quick. Wife will be in at night. So let's go. And the first one I'm going to take out. This stuff is sticky. And it's really, really hot. So I'll try and do one at a time. Alright? So I'll throw this one out first. Now this is a mix of colours, some of the stuff we've done previously. So get the gloves on, I'll see if we can some of this out quick. I'm going to do this frame at the side here. Now these trays, it doesn't matter if things stick to them, I'm going to try and get the bulk of it out if you can. Pull it out. It's I find even once this stuff's come out, there's usually remnants stuck to the bottom. I find sometimes it tears, but hey, just go for it. The trays are disposable, but this is really hot. So try the best to get it out if you can. This is just going to take a minute or two. Once you've got it, you might find it actually sits higher, and that is hot. So keep trying to get it out. Get the bulk of it out if you can. I'm going to go for the towel as well pretty hot so plus pulling out like this helps to mix your colours a bit as well. Now I've left the other one in the oven so it's still going to stay hot in the meantime. Try and get this fairly quick because this stuff does cool down pretty quick so it doesn't become as moldable or malleable if whatever you want to say. So let's see if we can get this out pretty quick. This tray has been used before, it's starting to tear a bit because it's obviously been used previously. So I tried with foil before but it ended up just sticking to the underside so it did work quite well. So as you see, quickly, hot, hot, hot. Right, I've got a bit of 
that they've done over, so kind of push it out and mould if you can. Trying to get it fill as much as possible. If you get a bit of overspill, doesn't matter too much, but just kind of try and get it even if you can. Just push it into the corners. Once I put the board on the top, that's going to give us a bit more kind of space. And it's going to squeeze it out there. So let's chuck that to the side at the moment. Put one board on the top, and we'll quickly go for the next one out of the oven. Do help to an extent with this. So let's try and get the next one out. I could actually put the board just on top of the other one, but I just thought let's go for it. We'll just try and see if we can get it out. It's still a bit soft, but I'll have to go for the detail again because it's pretty hot. Don't worry about it being the best tea towel, it will peel off. As with what's left over on the trays, I'm going to leave it to cool down. Once it's cooled down, you can usually peel it off because some of the stuff I actually put in here before was kind of leftovers. This is pretty hot. Probably be better by welding gauntlets really if you've got them give you an idea to try and invest in some of those next time alright so we're kind of moving this stuff out As you'll see they're still quite a bit stuck to the bottom but not too much about that just trying to get the bulk of it off if I can this is a race against time the rice coming in at 9 o'clock, we're at 20 to 9. Once I've got this into the mould, it's quite cold outside tonight, so I'll clamp it up, sit it out in the back garden, and leave it to harden off. What I've got up here says you should leave it for about 2 hours. Oh yeah, it's cold tonight, so I'll probably. pretty soft. Once I clamp it up, it should hopefully squeeze it into the mould a bit more. Good hard work, this is really even red. Right, another one on the top, just like that. Let's chop this to the side. This one on the top. I'm going to clamp this up. So, I'm going to put the gloves now because it ain't that hot. So, one end and then the other. So, clamp that, you'll probably get a bit of a squeeze out here that can easily be turned off, that's not too much of a hassle. This one. There we go. Other clamps you've got, quick ones, they'll do. So, bang bang. Alright, do the edge now. This side. You're not going to get a particularly flat top on it, but that's not too much of a bother. Really, what you want to do is just try and aim to get the thickness and as kind of even as you can. And I can see the centre of the bolt in a bit, but hopefully, this pressure should hold it down. This is kicking a bit because it's starting to kill. So, because of that. So I'm using my SLR so but it was not one of the strongest points. Yep. Keep going that's compressed slightly so I should take it down a bit more. Just apply reasonable pressure. Then I'll stick it outside. Well, at least an hour or so anyway outside. Let's look 
actually reasonably good. I think we've probably got a high spot there, but not too worried. What I did with the last mold in was planed it flat. Just use a normal four and a half plane. It actually worked okay. Because for some reason the surface is quite bubbly. But that's easy enough to take off of the plane, so I think this is probably the last time I'm going to adjust this. And then we'll put it outside to cool off. And I'll be back in a couple of hours, guys. Alright, guys. Let this cool for a couple of hours. It's been sitting outside. It's about minus one at the moment, so it's pretty chilled. So. Let's take the clamps off and see what we've got. These are cold. I still feel slightly warm in the middle, but just a little bit. Here's a screwdriver. But sometimes just needs a lot of prize out for lots of things. Pretty flat. Not too bad. Let's have a look for this one. Quite flat that side. Pretty good colours, a lot of the trim. Seems to be a fairly even thickness, apart from a bit thinner at that end. So not bad for that. This one is even better. Nice even sheet. Good colours on it. A little bit of trim in there as well. A little bit thinner on that end, but hey, it's still pretty good. So guys, there we go. Two sheets. Recycled high density polyethylene from milk bottles and various other bottles. These will be marked out tomorrow, probably turn into a few other things. Any questions, just inbox me, guys. Thanks for watching.